This is a short introduction video to the PowerSync iPamps from 3DATX. This is the overall layout of the system. This is how you would uh, connect the components in an actual field test. There's a tailpipe probe and the sample goes through the tube uh, into the cube unit, which is a condensation removal unit. And then there's a visual water check for any excessive moisture. And then the PowerSync main unit. I'm going to talk about individual components and some of the highlights of the system. We use a single tailpipe probe to measure both gas and PM emissions. The sample goes through this tube into the condensation removal unit. That is the exhaust from the condensation removal unit that would be outside of your vehicle. The condensation removal unit, which we call as cube, has inbuilt battery power for four hours of use. So you do not need any external battery or vehicle power source. There's a visual uh, water trap in case there is excessive moisture which cannot be handled by the cube, which is rarely the case, except maybe in some CNG vehicles. And then there's the parsing main unit that takes the dry exhaust coming from the cube, and then it does the measurements inside, and then the exhaust from the parsing goes outside of your vehicle. Inside the PowerSync main unit, we have battery power, again, good for four hours of use. And we deploy a cartridge system. There's the gas cartridge and there's the PM cartridge. Each of these cartridges are hot swappable. So if, if you're in the field and you do not have this, uh, the ability to calibrate the system, you can have spare cartridges. You can pop out one of the cartridge and put your spare cartridge, which might be already calibrated. That's also true for the PM cartridge. The gas cartridge has three sensors. Um, it has the NDIR that measures the CO and the CO2. It has a NO electrochemical sensor and it has an NO2 electrochemical sensor. So we measure NO and NO2 separately. The PM cartridge also has three sensors. There's the laser light scattering sensor, there's an ionization sensor, and there's an opacity sensor. And we use three sensors because they look at three different parts of the PM size range. The exhaust goes out of your vehicle, and that's the compact system that we call as the PowerSync iPamps. Thank you.